back to the channel. My name is Ajo Adi. Today we've taken a tour to Grace City. This is phase three. As you can see, construction is ongoing behind me. There's a lot for us to delve into <laughs> today. We're going to unpack matters, hear people's journeys, and I'm just so excited to be here. This is Lisa. This is London. Together, they're the Butley family. And I'm just going to let you tell us a little bit about yourselves. Guys, they featured on the channel already. They have a video. If you haven't seen it, just scroll down. It's right there. Go watch that video so you have a little clarity on who they are and what they're about. But for the people watching this video for the first time just tell us about yourself thank you my name is lisa botley um, my husband landon botley and i here we moved uh to ghana for approximately four months ago we've been here now four months four months four months we lived in the states mm. we sold everything okay and moved you and sold all your stuff in the states everything our house and wow. everything in it <laughs> what and what moved. what what triggered that decision for you to sell everything in and move to ghana well, you know, coming to Ghana has, has really been like a calling for us. Okay. Like we really felt a spiritual calling to Ghana specifically. Okay. And so once we decided to answer the call, mm -hmm. then everything else was just easy. Mm -hmm. Everything literally fell in line. Like the travel to get here, um, building our home and everything, it, it really just kind of... Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody will think that is such a big move and a big decision to just let go of everything and then move to a completely, you know, different place mm -hmm. were you scared did you have some anxiety over it or did you just feel like okay let's just do it and everything will work itself out well I, you know i don't think that we had any fear mm -hmm. i think that you know there were a lot of things that we didn't know yeah we did as, as much research as we could to kind of get some clarity on some things we made some connections mm -hmm. here on the continent uh, to kind of help us move and transition yeah. easily um but I think once we decided that it's what we were going to do, mm -hmm. it was just easy. It was just us working together and like I said, making connections and yeah. just planning, mm -hmm. actually planning financially planning. on how to come and what to do when we got here. Okay. And so was it the same for you, London? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, no fear yeah. whatsoever. Um, we made a decision yeah. and uh, we put everything into play mm -hmm. and just kind of <laughs> You just went for just it. Just kind of went for it. Yeah, no that's hesitation. that's that's amazing. That's <laughs> that's amazing, truly. And um, what's your involvement with uh, Royal Kingdom Estates, and how did you, you know, first come to hear of them? Um, well, we came first to hear of Royal Kingdom probably a year, year, mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. Um, okay. So we're we're aware of everything that they did here, um, uh, as far as building mm -hmm. and the thing, the types of things that they did, and. Um, uh, we just kind of decided to to give Royal Kingdom a call mm -hmm. uh, because of what they were doing here in Gray City. Okay. We inquired about it mm -hmm. and uh, came out, took a look at the land, decided to buy that mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. uh, purchase some plots, and decided okay, so we would uh, we try to plant roots here. That's so. interesting. How how did you find out about us? Was it online or somebody told you about Royal Kingdom well, it was, Estate? It was definitely YouTube. Now, YouTube? When, okay, okay. When we, were, when we were in the States <laughs> researching uh, yeah. coming to Ghana and mm -hmm. uh, building our home and purchasing land, um, that's how we found mm -hmm. Royal Kingdom. Okay. But um, we didn't come to Royal Kingdom right away because we were committed <laughs> to other places. And so right. what we've had to do was pivot mm -hmm. a couple of times since mm -hmm. we've been here in the area of purchasing land. We were going to purchase in the central region and that didn't quite go quite as planned yeah. and then we were going to purchase um in Sahum, and that didn't go quite as planned uh but then my husband you know was telling me well you know let's check out a brie now okay. he's already been he's already was fond of mm -hmm. a brie and so when you those like things every, yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so when those two areas didn't work out he yeah. was just like let's look at a brie again okay. and so we looked at the videos with some of the ladies from the office doing the video and showcasing okay. a brie specifically okay. where great city and so, like my husband said, we called him up. Uh, we came out here with the site manager. He showed us plots, mm -hmm. um, and we decided to purchase. And, and and now we're building our home. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Yes, this should yes. tell you as a brand, visibility is important. Mm -hmm. You need to be present. Mm -hmm. Let people see you. You never know who's watching, yes, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So let's backtrack a little. What happened with the Suhum land? Why didn't it go through? Well, the thing is, is the process was just too long. And I'm not really mm -hmm. sure why to, to, to this day. Why? Mm -hmm. I think there was a lot of involvement um, yeah. that was out of our hands. And, mm -hmm. and I'm not really sure. Yeah. It was just taking so long. Um, 
my husband and I, we were in the States. We had already worked with someone to draw out our home, our plan. Yeah. And so we sold everything to mm -hmm. come. And so when we arrived in Ghana, we were ready. Yeah. Still understanding what, that we might not be able to get started mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. But once we were here for a couple of months, we were just like, okay, we're ready. Okay. And again, my husband was like, let's check out a breed. Okay. And it, it just went from there. Yeah. And um, after we spoke to them, they explained how quickly we could get our um, eye indentures okay. and our site plan. Mm -hmm. Again, we already had the blueprint, mm -hmm. so we're just waiting for those two things. Okay. And so once they were able to guarantee that we would have that and we can build our home, it was a no brainer. So it was a quick, it, it was, was a, a quick yes. process with Royal Kingdom yes. Estate. Very quick. Very That's quick. one thing that we offer. If you need something done, it gets done very quickly. You mm -hmm. don't have to go around in circles chasing your tail. That's just exhausting. Right. So if you want quickness, you come to Royal Kingdom <laughs> Estates. So you guys used to be our clients mm -hmm. and now you're brokers yes. for Royal Kingdom Estates. Yes. How did that happen? <laughs> how, how did you transition from being clients to being brokers? Well, um, we got a call from mm -hmm. Danny one day. Mm -hmm. um, I guess he had just saw our videos, I okay. think, for the first time. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I guess he saw something in us um, that that made him feel like, you know, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Uh, it just kind of opened the doors mm -hmm. to, you know, this opportunity. We're very grateful. Yeah. yeah. But um, he called us in and, and, and spoke of the, the, you know, this opportunity. Yeah. And, and me and my wife was excited about it. We said, yes, we, we definitely love to do it. Yep. So, That's lovely. Yeah, it just... Yep. It just happened, it just yeah. Happened, yeah. And how has the broker's journey been so far? It's been amazing. <laughs> I, listen, so in the States, we did real estate. Okay. So to be able to, to come here mm -hmm. and live out our passion yeah. with Royal Kingdom on the continent of Africa, it really is a dream come true. So even when we were in the States, my husband and I would discuss, we really hope we can get into doing something in real estate. Yeah. Did not know how we were gonna mm -hmm. do it. Uh, but I was licensed in the States. I didn't know anything about being oh, licensed here. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, but, this is just amazing. So yeah. it's been a dream come true. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome partnership with an awesome company. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's been really good. That's interesting. It's been really good. I, I love that. Yeah. I, I love that it's been good. It has to be good. When yes. the journey is good, you get to enjoy it mm -hmm. more and mm -hmm. just have an amazing time, right? Yes. So now that you've taken in a more active role in real estate, has your perception about real estate in Ghana changed now that you're actively dabbling in it? My perception? You know, I don't know that I actually had a perception mm -hmm. i mean you of course you hear some things yeah. you hear of the scams and you hear and all of those things are very unfortunate and so yeah. we would still encourage people to do your due diligence mm -hmm. whatever makes you comfortable speak with your attorney have a surveyor um but really get to know who you're purchasing land yeah. from um you know just just do your due diligence and so exactly. i don't know that it's changed my um perception I do know that Royal Kingdom specifically mm -hmm. has because okay. they work so hard yeah. at bridging the gap um, with the diaspora. Yeah. And they have taken on such a responsibility, for mm -hmm. instance, with the with the building permits and things like that. And so in that aspect, yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, that's, it has. That's interesting. And yes. then the final thing before we go on to the stunning property <laughs> behind me, uh, you mentioned that you did real estate out there mm -hmm. and you're doing it here too. Mm -hmm. How different, what are some differences between them and what are some similarities between them? Well, um, it's very different. Mm -hmm. I will tell you it's very different. Um, let's see, in a lot of ways it's different. It's just that oh, I don't really know how to... I'm, I'm actually at a loss for words for that. <laughs> I am. I'm actually at a loss for words yeah. for that. What I am excited about, mm -hmm. though, uh, with real estate here is yeah. that there's an intentional partnership. Okay. You know, um, I think maybe in the States, and maybe that's just been my experience, yeah. that sometimes um, we're all out for ourselves. Okay. You know, maybe that's just my experience. So mm -hmm. y'all don't come for me. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's just I, been yeah. my experience. Yeah. But I love the intention. It's all sales. Yes, Mostly. it's all sales. Okay. It's all sales. Uh, my experience here with Royal Kingdom is, is about the relationship yeah. as well as True. the sales. And so you want to make sure that people are happy with their with their decision. You yeah. want to make sure that when you're able to, you can send them footage, and yeah. especially if they can't be here. Mm -hmm. A lot of the clients that come to my husband and I, they're just purchasing based off of, you know, what we've shown them on paper. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we've done is we come out, we get them drone footage and we walk to the plots to okay. kind of show them. And they've been very happy okay. with that. And so, That's um, lovely. It, and so they appreciate it a lot mm -hmm. because they can't be here right away. Yeah. 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 So anything that gives them peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you represent for them basically. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk about your 
journey on YouTube. Okay. How did that start? Why did you decide to <laughs> create a YouTube uh, account and then be brokers on there and then, you know, show people the scenery down here and mm -hmm. the properties down here and everything involved? Mm -hmm. Well, the YouTube channel came about, we were in Texas, and I'll be honest with you, we weren't comfortable at all <laughs> doing video and recording ourselves and talking. I just, I, I said earlier that London is the yeah. silent partner. <laughs> I know you yeah. prefer to be behind the yeah, camera and flying your drones <laughs> instead of in front of it. Yeah. We never expected, uh, you know, when we did it, the channel initially, it was yeah. basically for families and friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they could see you know, our journey, yeah. you, know, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, here in Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, but, but it just took off, yeah. you know, um, neither one of us was expecting it. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's, you know, it, it's been a journey, yeah. you know, but, you know, to, to bring so many people along with us, mm -hmm. you know, on this journey has, yeah. has been a, a, a wonderful experience. Yeah. You know, we, we get a lot of good feedback. Yeah. So it's, it's just made, you know, the transition here, you know, yep. just that much more enjoyable. That's nice. So, That's lovely. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now let's go see the property. Okay. Tell me a little, a little bit about it. Absolutely. So what's, what's some uniqueness with some features in there? How many, how many um, bedrooms is it? Well, we have a, it's a three bedroom home. Three bedroom. With a helpless quarters in the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it has a, a rooftop terrace mm -hmm. on this side. And okay. A roof on the other side. Okay. So that's pretty much it. I see. Yeah, it's well, a simple plan. It's a, yeah. It, it's yeah. a simple plan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not done yet, but it's looking really good. I know. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. You're both doing really well. All right. <laughs> would you love to show me? I would love to show okay. you. Let's go see it. Please be careful. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, we just acquired two additional plots right on the back of this one. Ooh. I know, right? So exciting. So That's this lovely. lovely. This is a Bradley. Oh, I love it. I love it. Welcome, Chief. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, wow. Chief. She's just telling me that they got two extra plots yes. in addition yes. to this. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Yeah. So they did not actually get those plots at the beginning, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they have decided to now add more. Yes. Oh. And again, I'm I'm being told that they are still going to keep on adding <laughs> and adding and adding and buying and that. expanding. So, so right opposite them, mm -hmm. there is a client who wants to purchase those plots. So okay. we are going to work on those ones. Nice. The ones oh, are going wonderful. very fast. Very yes. fast. And, yes. And the price point here is is incredible. Yes. It's now going for. Only sixty-five thousand. Yes. Wow. Yes. And for installment, seventy-five thousand. And you know the package that is coming with it. Mm -hmm. yes. Royal Kingdom Estate has decided to build a perimeter fence wall. Yes. Wow. Yes. For those at yes. first three. <laughs> yes. Isn't that amazing? That's lovely. We're excited about. So that. it comes with purchasing the land. Exactly. Yes. Wonderful. Where would you get this? <laughs> nowhere. No, would you, nowhere. That's really, really, really nice. Nowhere would you get me, this. I'm excited to see what is happening here. Yeah. Top notch construction. Yes. Mm -hmm. The buildings yes. have done very well. Mm -hmm. You can see some sort of uh, some uh, concrete that is, is happening. I think that's uh, you are building a uh, uh, a terrace for yourself. Uh -huh. A roof, a rooftop yeah, terrace. terrace. So that okay. like, you can be able to sit there, sip yes. your yes. drinks in the night, and enjoy the view. <laughs> enjoy the view. Yes. 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 This is beautiful. Yeah. This Thank beautiful. you. It really is. Thank it you. really is. And I think you have added two more plots. Yeah. You have some other plots yes. as well. Mm -hmm. you. you mentioned your some of your family members also mm -hmm. want some. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. My sister's my sister is talking about purchasing land here too. So okay. sometime this year, probably mm -hmm. in the next Maybe a month or two. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. Let's, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Well, yeah, take me through when it. Are your family members also coming? Very soon. <laughs> <laughs> soon and soon. You said you're gonna fill. So yes, yeah, so side. yeah. So all of this is just gonna be filled in. Uh, okay. When they bring the level up okay. of the uh, house, it's just yeah. gonna be filled in. Okay. Um, and so which will widen it. And so on the side would just be kind of like a. Just a side walkway with some nice stones mm -hmm. over here, and I plan to plant things all along this wall. Oh, right. Let me know when you're ready to plant. I'll supply you the plants. Oh, really? I'm a little plant lady. I love it. I love it. I love it. And oh, now this, this is, is the nice. front. This is the front. Okay, so um, this is the front. Okay. Yes, this is the front of the house. And okay. So they've done the. Oh. So there's going to be an entryway. Yeah, right there. here. Okay. Here's, here's the security entryway here. Nice. And so when they come in, we'll just mm -hmm. kind of park over in this area over here. And then 
Oh, that'll kind of be open. We'll do some trees, some greenery or something over there like that. It's so nice out here. I love it. Look at the mountains. Right? I, just, and you get the 360 view. Yes. That's, what, that's what's amazing about yes. it. Like everywhere you look, it's just views 360 views. everywhere. And from that rooftop terrace, it's going to be amazing. Oh my it's God. It's going to be even better. When you're done, you should invite me. I, I, we'll come I, some Come some through. Come through. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, one thing that I really wanted to find out, sure. have you been in touch with the locals since you started, you know, building here? Because people like to, you know, know mm -hmm. where they're moving to, mm -hmm. uh, how uh, the people around mm -hmm. are, you know, how living in the place is in general. You know, just some of the locals that we pass through coming in. Yeah. Just some of the locals that we mm -hmm. pass through coming in. Um, just kind of wave to them and say hi. Sometimes they come by and stop and we yeah. talk a little bit. So, but but that's it. But not not too much right yeah. now. But yeah, we're, yeah, we're Eventually, hoping. Eventually. Yes. That would be nice. Yes, that, that would, would be, be great. Yeah. That would be great. So what attracted you to this particular site? Because in Ebri, there's a lot of lands. Yes. What, what made you choose this place? Uh, the price point. The price point. Yes, the price point. Uh, you know, this was, this was absolutely in our budget. Yeah. And so, like I said, people have to purchase what's in mm -hmm. their budget. And so it's beautiful. And so, but the, the fact that the price point in Abri was the $65,000 yeah. CD. Yeah. It was just amazing. It was good. It That's was what amazing. a lot of people don't realize. Mm -hmm. RKE offers you good yes. service. Yes. Everything they give mm -hmm. you is so you can be able to afford it yes. and be able to build mm -hmm. the, the, the the homes of your dreams. Right. Because everybody deserves to live in a stunning property. Absolutely. I right? Agree. When I you're agree. going in your retirement <laughs> age and you have your beautiful uh, property somewhere, you can just be there, have your yes. peace of mind. That's what we sell to people. Yes. So it would be nice if everybody gets involved. <laughs> yes. You should get involved. Yes. yes. What are some challenges that you face that Royal Kingdom Estate has been able to offer you solutions to? So our first challenge is <laughs> when we started to build yeah. in this area, I, you know, as looking in hindsight, my husband and I are so fast. Yeah. When we move, we move fast, mm -hmm. right? And so um, one of the first challenges was just the temporary road, which is how I even met Desmond, right? Okay. Was the temporary road uh, and it rained. We were in rainy Ooh. season, so it deteriorated quickly the trucks couldn't come in they had just deteriorated yeah. the roads had wow. and so every they just stopped working on our project wow because they couldn't get back here and, yeah. and when they did get back here they would get stuck mm -hmm. and it would take them hours to get out and so they just refused to come wow and so that was the first challenge but mm -hmm. that was really because we we jumped the gun like to be honest with you we really did in hindsight we did not really let royal kingdom know that we were actively building, actively building. you know I, we did tell them but mm -hmm. i don't i don't think that we were clear or they understood that yeah. we meant tomorrow yeah like, i think for <laughs> the conversations that i had yes. with desmond i think he just thought you guys wanted to maybe dig a ball hole no. maybe do a fence they didn't know right. you were actively yes. you know, starting your yes. construction yes but i tell you once we made that known yeah they were really good about coming in and putting in the the main roads mm -hmm. and it's so now do they just have that temporary road, but they have the other roads, the yeah. other access roads to come yeah. in. And so now you can really see the division of the community where mm -hmm. the plots are and the major roads. It's just amazing. That's, but but that's, that's probably been our only challenge. Yeah. Yes. We're blessed to be able to say that this has been a very easy so very far. smooth Yeah. We work process. with a really good team. Mm -hmm. um, they're really good with communicating mm -hmm. with us and us them. And so, and, and Royal Kingdom with the roads. That, yeah. It's been it's been great. I'm be glad it's you. been great for you. Thank I'm you. I'm really happy. So, what advice will you give to you know clients mm -hmm. who are looking to transition into taking in you know a more active role in real estate or becoming brokers like you? Well, what I would say is is that just be honest with people. Mm -hmm. um, be honesty. honest. With, yes. Be open and honest with people. I don't care how bad it is yeah. be honest about the bad mm -hmm. right um be honest about the good be consistent yeah um and, and people will see your heart yeah that's what happened mm -hmm. uh with royal kingdom we didn't go seeking it we were just trying to build our house yeah and so danny was able to see something in my husband and ourselves mm -hmm. that that he wanted to partner with yeah and we're very grateful for that we're very grateful for that and so um, my advice to people was just be good to people yeah be good to people be honest about the truth the good and the bad be yeah. honest about that mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Yes. Now, one thing that I really want us to hit uh, on is networking, right? Yes. 
in this space in the space of real estate networking is very important but I, I feel like people don't talk about it enough yes. right if you don't put yourself out there mm -hmm. nobody will know about you nobody will see you right. how important has networking been to you and what you know role has it played in your journey i tell you networking is very <laughs> it's very important yeah. you know you you become i don't know you can't really be in real estate and mm. not be a people person to a certain true to a certain um, to a certain point yeah because yeah. you have to be able to talk to people um and it may not always lead to a sale for mm -hmm. you but it could lead to an exchange of business yes a, a, a nice an exchange of services yeah it can lead to an exchange of services so i won't know that i can have something that i've been thinking about if yeah. i don't talk to you yeah. if i don't talk to them yeah i don't know what you have going mm -hmm. on so if we don't network with each other i mean we're just out here spinning our wheels right and That's so and true. i'll be honest with you i used to be one of the, these people and i'm growing mm -hmm. in this area i used to be very quiet into myself and uh, but you have to be open yeah. to learning from people and talking to people yeah. and exchanging services. Yeah. Right. So it's very important. It's very important. Note that down. It's important. It's important. Well, you've been <laughs> so lovely. I'm, um, I'm blessed to be able to be here and then Thank see you. the amazing work you're doing. Are there going to be, you know, any future further partnerships with Royal Kingdom Estate? Are there going to be, you know, more projects? What should we look out for? We sure hope so. And yeah. we're, we're absolutely open yeah. to, to any of them. Mm -hmm. So, yes, right now it's land. I hope that it becomes um, commercial builds mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. So we're absolutely open yeah. to any anything. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There are people that are still <laughs> hesitant and doubtful oh. about, you know, getting into partnership with Royal Kingdom Estate. What, what do you have to tell them? Well, I would have to say from personal experience, yeah. it's been a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, they've been very open and transparent yeah. mm -hmm. and forthcoming. And just this opportunity to be able to, like I said, live out our passion for real yeah. estate. Yeah in Ghana mm -hmm. is has been truly a dream come true so you guys whatever decision you're making whether it's to build a home or partner mm -hmm. with anybody do your mm -hmm. due diligence research get to know the person go with your gut yeah um ask tons of questions right yeah uh, but don't be afraid don't be afraid don't be afraid <laughs> don't be afraid <laughs> well thank you so much for talking to you're me you're welcome I hope everything goes great and when this is done we'll come see it again please do please yes. do we'll and hold then you we'll, to that. we'll update everybody else so you guys <laughs> follow their journey what's the youtube handle so the youtube handle is the botley's journey to ghana yeah and our email address mm -hmm. is the botley's in ghana at gmail.com okay all yeah. right well subscribe to the channel stay tuned we have more coming peace out peace out <laughs> okay <laughs>